Hey there, friends. Um, buckle up. Just buckle up. So my name is Danielle, for those of you who are brand new around here, and we are about to get into it. I have been doing some thrifting over the past month now. Like, I, I just wanna be clear that all this was not bought on the same day. I've been thrifting a little bit here and there over the past month. I did a little farmer's market thrift. I did some thrifting when we were down in Florida. I did some local thrifting, all of the things. It has been a joy to find some really cool pieces, but I have, so much to show you guys today. I actually, I think I'm gonna make this like a two-part series. Yeah, I have to because there's there is stuff here and I think this video will take forever long if I show you absolutely everything that I got in just one video. So I'm gonna do a two-parter. So this is gonna be part one of this massive thrift haul that I have been working on over the past mm, month now. And I can't wait to show you guys all of the fun home decor pieces that I got for my house because once I show you guys all of these pieces, I am going to start decorating my home with them. I've not really decorated for the summer yet, so. I want to get into that. I love all of these pieces. I think they're going to bring some new life into my house. So without further ado, let's get into the first piece of thrifted home decor. Okay, so the very first thing that I got, I, I was actually at a local like farmer's market. This was actually close to a month ago now. So I've had these pieces that I'm about to show you for a little while now. And there was a woman, I thought this was such a cool idea, but she goes to other thrift stores and whatnot and collects lovely items and then sells them at different farmer's market for like a slightly elevated price. But I have to say, I don't, I didn't feel like I paid like extravagantly for anything extra. They're all fun thrifted items and I really love everything that I got. And like, let's be honest, some of these items that I got, I they would have been like 10 times more expensive at Target or whatnot. I was really happy to find her stuff. I will link her, she has an Instagram actually. I'll link her stuff below because I think you can order some stuff online, but also if you're local to like the New Jersey area, she has some stuff of where she is located on her Instagram. And the very first piece that I got was this this lovely vintage dough bowl. I love it so much. It apparently was at a country store at one point because there's like a sticker here. So I know it's not like a Target mass produced situation. It is super rough in a lot of the areas. I just thought this was so beautiful. And I think I'm going to put it on my I say coffee table. We don't really have a coffee table. We actually have an ottoman because we have little kids and I knew that they would be like climbing on it and walking around and all that kind of stuff. Plus it's nice to like throw your feet up and stuff and everybody's always putting their feet up on a coffee table and it's not really comfortable. So we got an ottoman forever ago, but there's like this nice wooden tray that we keep on the ottoman so we can keep drinks and whatnot. And I always like to decorate that really nice. So I think this is where this is gonna live and I'm really excited for it because I think it is a beautiful piece. 
The very next thing that I got from the same seller was this beautiful piece of pottery. And if you don't know what this is, this is sort of like a garlic, it's not a press, it's like a garlic scraper, if you will. So you can take a piece of garlic and you can kind of push it into all of the ridges and then add some oil and you've got a nice little tray for some garlic um, dipping sauce or you can throw some basil in there, kind of crush it all up. And I love these pieces, I think they're so beautiful. I purchased one of these for my mom for Christmas a while back, it cost me like $25 like from the actual pottery maker. This only cost me $10, so I was really excited for that. I just thought it was really, really beautiful. Even if I don't, you know, use it for garlic. I mean, I absolutely probably will try to do that if I'm having like people over and I wanna have like a nice dipping sauce for bread. But even if I don't use it for that, I can definitely use it for a piece of decor around the house. I loved the colors of it. It's like a bluish purple and a brown. It's really pretty. I have a couple of pieces that kind of match this already. And I love some hand-on pottery. You can see there's like the person's signature in the back. I just think these are such beautiful pieces and I'm really excited to find this. Oh, also the dough bowl, the dough bowl only cost me $10 as well. So I was very, very happy for that price. Okay, so this next piece that I got, it is um, granny chic is what I'm gonna call it. I don't know what it is about it. It just spoke to me when I saw it. And it's just this beautiful drawing of a rocking chair with a nice blanket and like this old school lamp and whatnot with the flowers. I just thought it was so pretty it like i said it gave me some granny chic vibes i feel like i'm either going to hang this up in our basement family room or possibly our new guest bedroom i'm not 100 percent sure yet but i just really enjoyed it i have some stuff around my house that like is kind of old in style like it stays up all the time and it's sort of starting to just show its age in like what it was um, trendy with like a couple years ago so I don't know I might take some of those pieces down and replace them so either way I just uh, I don't know what it is about this picture but it just spoke to me and again she only charged me no I think she charged me five dollars for this picture so I was very very excited for that and I just thought hey, why not? It's cute. I'll put it up in my house. I love me a good bargain when it comes to beautiful drawings and paintings. Okay, so those were the three items that I got from, like I said, this local farmer's market. I thought it was so nice. And then I went to my local thrift shop and man, oh man, did I find some incredible bargains there. I almost felt like it was a little bit of highway robbery because if you've been to Goodwill recently, their prices have just been going up and up and up. And this place is not like that. It is a local, done actually for a local charity type thing. So they actually have thrift prices. And I was so excited for all the things that I got from them. And this was the first thing that I found. This was just a dollar. It's a little basket and I can hang it on a nail. I might stick this in my bathroom. I thought it would be really cute to have some like scented soaps in here. Um, I I love having stuff open like scented soaps in a bathroom because it gives the bathroom a nice fragrance without having to like burn a candle or do something like that so I thought this would be really sweet and cute for something like that if I don't do that I could find some fun other ways and for a dollar I was like heck yes I love this it's adorable so the very next thing that I got at the same exact thrift shop was these two little ramekins. They were $2 a piece. Look how beautiful they are. I just absolutely love them. I thought that they were so lovely. I love it's got kind of like a faded goldish patina. Not gold. What is that other word? Brass. Yeah, brass. Um, it's got this faded like brass patina on it. I thought it was so beautiful. They are ceramic. They are etched in. They're not like painted on. They're like full on etched into the stoneware. And I just thought it was such a lovely piece. They're two separate designs on them. And I just thought they were stunning. And they'd be really cute like out either on my hutch or one of my shelves or whatnot. Or I could use them for like I said, little dipping sauces for a party if I have a party coming around. I thought they were so pretty and $2 a piece, stunning artwork essentially for basically nothing. So the next thing that I got was this lovely country crock. It's so pretty. It is heavy duty, super like heavy weight. Guys, 
this was a dollar. <laughs> and I was like, oh my goodness, I could throw some spoons in here, put this on the counter, or I was actually talking to my husband, I actually might put a plant in here. I love using like little cracks for plants and whatnot, and I have been cutting some of my pieces of my different plants that are getting really large and propagating them. So this would be like really cute as like a starter kind of apparatus, plant holder pot for the smaller pieces before they get really big and like need bigger pots. This would be like, a good starter pot. I just thought it was so cute. Like I said, super versatile. I could use it for a bunch of different things, or I could even just put it in my room and put like makeup brushes or whatever in there. All the things, and again, a dollar. So I'm totally here for that. And then the last two items that I'm gonna show you for this particular haul are these two lovely children's books. Now these I actually did not get at the same place that I got the other items at. I got these when I was down in Florida just two weeks ago and I thought they were so pretty. This one's called The Bird's Nest. This one is called The Golden Thread and they're just sweet, adorable children's book. This one says it's from 1867 and this one says it's from 1768 1854 it's a rare collector's series and these were four dollars a piece I just love these old beautiful books I think they're so much fun um, and I like to have these out around the house I have been really into collecting like more kids books lately because if you saw my porch remodel that I just put up I think it was just last week I have a basket of books on the porch I think this would be super fun to have on the porch with those books to read to my kids while we're hanging out in the summertime or I have some really fun decor ideas for my summer like decorating series that I'm going to be doing that I think these will also go for and I just thought they were lovely in color. My first son has some vintage books in his room and they're just kind of stacked like this and they're like Alice in Wonderland and all of these beautiful tales. I think there's a Winnie the Pooh one. So this reminded me of that book's Stack collection and I was like hey if I don't use it around the house maybe when I get Lincoln's room together I can put these in his room and kind of have that same sort of decor and vibe so these are super versatile I can do a lot with them and I was really excited like I said they were four dollars a piece a little bit more than the other place but this place that I went to their prices were a bit higher than the one in my local area but I still thought that it was a great deal for these two absolutely gorgeous vintage um, kids books that I can get a lot of utility out of over the years. So that is absolutely everything for today's video. Like I said, this is just part one because I have even more stuff around me right now and I am about to film part two so that will be coming out in just a couple of days. I don't know if I'm going to be posting it right now. I've been posting once a week every Thursday. I don't know if I'm going to post this, post this. I don't know if I'm going to post this next Thursday or if I'm actually going to do like a special extra video next week because I also have a fun video coming for next week as well in my thoughts and ideas. So we'll see. Just keep an eye out for that. But to keep an eye out for that, you need to hit that subscribe button so that you do not miss an update. You can hit the bell notification so it lets you know when my next video is coming out and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy nice, fun thrift hauls because I love to make them. I love to hear when people also enjoy them. And honestly, it really helps out my channel. I'm so grateful grateful for you all and I can't wait to see you back here real soon for part two. Have a great day guys. Bye.